The car to beat in the compact category, this all-new Civic has made some small improvements designed to keep its competitive edge. Hi, I'm Vanessa Lee. And I'm Ryan Lee. You're watching Auto Trader's new car review for the 2012 Honda Civic, a slightly roomier and more efficient remake of a bestseller that has its work cut out for it in a field of worthy contenders. And the changes the Civic made are subtle, such as high-strength steel reinforcing the car's structure and a wheelbase that has shrunk by just over an inch. The new look is definitely not bold, but practically speaking, drivers will appreciate how the new design gives them a better view of the road. And although the exterior car dimensions haven't changed, the engineers have managed to carve an extra three inches of shoulder room up front in the sedan and an inch in the coupe. Inside, the two-level dashboard layout stands out. Important driver information, such as vehicle speed, is just about at eye level. The basic design is a carryover from last year, but this 5-inch video display in the center is new. Now, I like technology, but it seems like it could get a little busy. I don't know, I think it really works for me, but I can see how some people might view it as an information overload, especially with all these steering wheel mounted buttons for cruise control and audio. Yeah. The Civic still has something for everyone, with six different models, and the engine in this EX is one of four power plants available across the lineup. There's also the Civic Hybrid, and even a Civic that burns natural gas, which of course is cleaner than gasoline. A 140 horsepower, 1.8 liter four-cylinder is the base engine that Civic uses in most of its lineup. It's a familiar Civic power plant, except for this year, Honda has added the Eco Assist feature, which manages to squeeze out a few extra miles per gallon. Pressing the Econ button, which stands for effective control, limits power output and reduces torque by up to 4%. There's also displays in the gauges that let you know how efficiently you're driving. That helps fuel economy increase by 3 miles per gallon. That brings it to 28 in the city and 39 on the highway, even though Civic still uses a 5-speed automatic transmission, unlike most of its competitors that use a 6-speed transmission. For even better fuel economy, you'll want to look at the 44-mile-per-gallon Civic Hybrid or the Civic HF, which should get about 41 miles per gallon on the highway. And if you're shopping for performance over fuel economy, you'll want to check out the SI model. It's sportier with a 201 horsepower, 2.4 liter four cylinder that uses a six speed manual transmission. But the fuel economy isn't as great at 22 in the city and 31 on the highway. The base DX starts at $15,805, while the top of the line EXL climbs to $23,455. The mid level model like this EX we have here comes in just over $20,000. The Civic has improved by making some small changes, but there's still a lot of stiff competition out there, so you're going to want to take a look at some other compact cars by Ford, Hyundai, and Chevrolet. I'm Vanessa Lee. And I'm Ryan Lee. Thanks for watching this new car review of the 2012 Honda Civic, right here at Auto Trader, the ultimate automotive marketplace.